Hi everyone, this is Joan, and I hope that you are enjoying your Sabbath. Um, you can see this picture here. This is Shanquilla Robinson, and you know what happened to her. Uh, my condolences to her family and friends and everyone else who loved her. And I'm really, really, I think it's a wonderful thing that it is getting the media attention that it is. Now, the major reason why I do videos is based upon the Ten Commandments, where it says, okay, um, honor your father and your mother. So I feel like Hebrew Israelites and Christians have no problems or pretty much any other religion honoring the fathers, but the mothers, the women in general, often aren't paid much attention to. So that is the whole point major point in me doing videos of course i want everybody to bow to the most high which they will eventually but um you know that's what my purpose is but by now you already know what happened to this young lady um you know to a certain extent there is a mysteriousness to all of this um the reason why I chose this particular picture is because you may recall I lost my daughter seven, almost eight years ago. And I had a friend who told me she was talking to a relative who had lost a child. And she mentioned the, the boy and the, the woman started crying. And she said, I can't understand why she's crying. It's been six years. Well, my daughter has been gone seven years. And the thing is, you you never stop crying. You don't. Maybe people don't see you crying, but you don't stop crying because part of you that you thought was going out into the future is not there. And you feel that every day of your life, you feel that every hour of your life is just, the only thing you can do if you believe in the Most High is wait for the Most High because he says vengeance is his and he will repay. It is that belief that keeps me going. So I hope in some way that that is encouragement to the family and friends of Shantwella. But again, there was a person on YouTube who made many interesting videos and he just disappeared. And it was Mags. It was Mags on the run. It was Mags, lots of other things. And he might still be on. I just can't find him. But one of the things I remember him saying is that when you see bricks in the background, that is a sign of the brotherhood. And he did not say anything about these cement blocks, but I remember my daughter posed on a picture. I was nowhere around. I, I didn't even find the picture till after she passed. And she was standing in front of a brick wall, not sorry, not a brick wall, a concrete wall like this. So I don't know if it means anything, but I don't know that much about occult practices. I do know that the Bible says, that you are supposed to be wise, wise as serpents. So that means that anything they know, you should be, you should know or be trying to know because things are happening that don't make any sense. When I heard, I've never seen the video. Um, for some reason, things that other people find it easy to find, I can't find. So. I maybe it's just not meant for me to see it and I, I can understand that. But I didn't see either either of the videos of this young lady. I'm sorry, let me correct myself. I saw the video where they said she was walking through an apartment. She was walking through the apartment they had uh they were vacationing in. And I'm not sure because I can't even find that video again. But it sounded like she said to somebody, um, does it take you that long to get naked? Now, I know I'm old school and I, I'm, I don't quite know who she was talking to or if, if that was an expression or what was going on. 
Um, I also think, well, people are saying that they got her out of the shower and that's why she was, they were beating her up while she was naked. And okay, I can understand that, but from what I could see of the original video they did with the girl who was named Daquan, De, Daquane or something like that, uh, she was wearing lingerie, I think. I'm not sure, and I'm kind of wondering, why is she wearing lingerie? And in the other video, where Shanquala is asking, is saying it doesn't, it shouldn't take you that long to get naked. A guy comes out, I think it was the Nazir guy, and he is, his pants are, um, half, not, you know, how they wear their pants now. They're halfway down, so you could see his underwear. I think that, yeah, I do definitely think she was set up. I think some, some other things were going on there as to why they set her up or how they set her up or even how long they've been planning these things. And it's kind of like when I was looking at the Eric Garner video and I noticed that the police officer had on uh, shoes that had a red sole. And I was looking at another popular video at the time where the performer had on shoes with red sole. I had seen another movie where someone went to the store and asked specifically for black pumps with a red sole. Then I read somewhere else about, you know, that red having something to do with blood. Well, I still looked at the, the video I saw and I did hear the guy, the Nazir guy talking, saying things that contradicted each other. And in life, when you are a basically kind person, because some people are basically kind, they come out the womb and they just don't have any real desire to hurt anybody. When you are that kind of person, I think the devil sets out to get you. Now, a lot of people will say, no, that only happens to Christians or, you know, well, basically, I've heard Christians say that, but I think that even people who may not have discovered any kind of a religious affiliation sometimes are born with a certain amount of kindness. And I think that maybe the devil has a real problem with that and attacks these people. So I think that that may be at the root of what happened with Miss Robinson. I remember I was working in the social service field. So you would think that these are people who are basically paid do-gooders. And I remember I was, they were having, they were having a boat trip and they were acting so strange toward me that I was, my supervisor asked me why wasn't I going and I said the way you all act you think I'm getting on a boat with any of you and uh, I tried to play it off like I was kidding but I wasn't I'm not getting on a boat with people who are looking at me crazy well what I'm saying here is that sometimes you really do have to look at life that way and if people want to call you you're not social enough or you're too quiet or you're too this or you're too that. You don't have to really answer. You can just think to yourself, I'm not doing anything. Right now I'm living and I plan on keeping it that way. But people will set you up. People who call themselves friends, unfortunately relatives, uh, anybody who's close to you, the devil can get into and give them this strange, this ideal. And you have to consider Cain and Abel, the Bible has been telling you that things are not the way you think they are from the very beginning. I mean, just that story right there told you, yeah, you may love your brother, doesn't necessarily mean he will love you. It also told you that from the very beginning, there were issues with family. 
family can sometimes do you in. Uh, when you look at, well, I think that when you look at King David, I think when you look at his friend, well, he had a friend, Ahithophel. Okay. Um, Ahithophel and David's own son were plotting to take over the kingdom and to kill him. So you have to be prayerful. You have to sometimes be a little not that social because sometimes you just have to be. And I'm not saying she did anything wrong. I don't know what happened there. I think that for these people to turn on her, she probably was a kind person because pretty much that's what I see in life. I see that it is the ones in my own family. It's the kind ones who got who had the problems, the ones who uh, just decide I'm going to do whatever I need to do to get whatever I want. They don't have that much of a problem with the world. It's the ones who are like, well, I don't really want to hurt anybody. I'm just trying to do my own thing. And if I can help you, I will. That's the ones who have to be especially prayerful because sometimes that kindness puts a target on your back and the only person who can truly defend you from that is the most high so this is just something to consider and again my condolences to all her friends family and everybody who loved her and to all of you who have lost someone it never really you don't ever get over that you can't it's it's just that strong of a bond but the Heavenly Father promises that he will, vengeance is his and he will repay. He also promises a paradise and eternal life without strife. So just keep going. But while you're going, be extremely careful. The Bible actually does tell you, trust no man, not even your brother. And like uh, the point I was trying to make in the last video is that every time it says man, it doesn't mean only man. Every time it says woman, it doesn't mean only woman. I think it's telling you, everybody, watch your back. Be prayerful and watch your back. And you guys, take care.